going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today and we are back with another cricket memes episode i think this is like 95 now so we are just five away actually i will have to check it before i edit the video but hey we are i'm gonna assume we are just five away from hitting episode 100 i still have no idea what to do for episode 100 so if you guys have any ideas i want to try and include everyone but i don't know how to like you know, do so. <laughs> so, if you guys have any ideas, please drop them in the comments what I can do for episode 100. Um, you know, it's going to be a pretty special moment. Um, I'm going to finally join my father, Michael Clark. Um, you know, in, in hitting that many centuries. So, it's going to be pretty special. Uh, hey, if you guys are new though, subscribe. Leave a like. You know, help the boy out. It's free. We're pushing towards 10k subs. Um, so, yeah, just do me a favor. It's free. It's, it's, it, it literally takes a second, and you should have done it by now. So, hey, we are going to jump straight into it. I know I haven't had a video for about, I think it's been about like three days now. So, this is normally the longest that I ever go without uploading a video. Um, honestly, I just, just kind of chilled out on the weekend. I was just chilling. So, <laughs> that's my only excuse. We are here. Let's get into it, baby. Also, I just have to mention, if you guys hear any, you know, extremely loud wind or rain in the background, it is currently pissing down with rain, and, and it, it literally feels like I'm in a tornado right now. So, if you hear any, you know, rattling, you know why. All right, let's get, <laughs> now let's get into it. Pain is real. Well, that is true, but... Oh, no! No! Getting out on your favourite shot. And what's even worse... Oh! Is that he celebrated right in your face? Oh! You let him celebrate like that? No. No, no, no. That, that sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, man arrested after trying to steal one IPL trophy from Rog. Yo! Why is he in an RCB kit? Is this real? <laughs> Bro, I thought it was Ishan Kishan in a in a RCB kit right here. Man, I think RCB, they just want a trophy, man. Just give them a trophy and they'll leave you alone. Uh, most of hundreds in ICC events. Hitman, 11. And then you got Ganguly, Henry, uh, Tendulka, David, and Joe Root. Alan DeGeneres, I didn't know he had that many centuries um, in ICC events. There you go. New cricket stadium design in Surat. Now, I did see um, something similar to this, and I think I've actually made a video on, on this stadium, um, like, I reckon about months and months ago. But I have no idea what this is for. Is this for Kabaddi, maybe? <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. But then this cricket stadium, though, this does look quite beautiful. I think we've also got a little tennis court over here. So I like it. I'm a big fan. I mean, this this right here, I don't know what this would be. Is this where people could stay? Or maybe they park their car? I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. So I like it. If I can click off it, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I have gone up in the Discord to make sure we got some of these memes in about Chetan Sharma, of course, being sacked by the BCCI, I mean, it should have happened probably a good year or two ago. It should have happened before Virat Kohli was removed as captain. But, hey, everything happened for a reason. So, the reasons behind it. Not being able to make a settled squad with eight captains in just one year. Yep. Losing the Asia Cup and World Cup. I mean, yeah, the Asia Cup, they should have won, in my opinion. Um, picking KL Rahul after an eight-month gap. Now, I didn't think that was a big issue. I think he was still in India's best 11 at the World Cup. But, you know, I mean, Rishabh was sitting there. Maybe he wanted to... Uh, they just needed a guy who was a specialist opener and could have come in to play that next role. Whether it was Shikha Dawan, whether it was Ishan Kishan, whether it was bloody Rudaraj Gaikwad. <laughs> I mean, it just... They had to have a backup option and they didn't. So, that was a big one. Not picking domestic and IPL performers... Yeah, Shah Rukh Khan, Sanju Sampson, Prithvi Shaw. I think that's where you start. And then the workload management. Yeah, I mean, you just have to look at Bumrah 
um, and the amount of workload that he was put through, and Jadeja to that matter. So, yeah, going to be interesting to see um, what direction the BCCI go. And we have a look here. Just a reminder, BCCI sacked Virat Kohli from ODI captaincy on November 18th. And today, Chetan Sharma has been sacked on the same day. I mean, what are the chances of it happening, you know, a year later on the same day? I feel like the BCCI, they waited for this exact day to do it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I'm a, hey, big, big congratulations to the BCCI for finally growing some testicles and, and doing what should have been done a long time ago. So... Um, we're happy to see that. And you've got the dance! This is how we're feeling! Woohoo! If I can turn it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i got to turn that down though, copyright. Woohoo! <laughs> Yo! This man, Virat. Hey, he's a special Bollywood dancer. Look at him go! <laughs> Bro, hey, big shout out to the man, Virat Kohli. Um, and now with the decision that they're going to go with the split captaincies in each format, maybe, maybe Virat gets another opportunity as captain if he wants it. I don't know. Hey, look at the man, Binny. He says, Chetan, buddy, it's time to go. That's fair enough. I can't blame him. Um, Rohit Sharma is the number one cricketer of our country. Oh, brother. Um... So soon after naming Rohit Sharma as test captain, Sharma made it clear that the star batter will lead the team as long as he is fit. Now, I don't know if he was ever fit, but he was definitely in good form. So, hey, what a year can do. A year in cricket. Now the best player in the world, I think a lot of people would probably say, is Surya Kumar Yadav currently. Um, I mean, based on the format that we're playing right now. So, hey, I don't know what's going on there, you see. <laughs> they said, Ganguly, you're out of here. Chetan, you're out of here. Is the next door. Who is the next door that they go on? Is it going to be the man Vardabhav Sharma? Well, I guess we're going to see, aren't we? I don't think it will be. But, in saying that, it would not surprise me if Rohit Sharma is not captain in any format next year. It really wouldn't surprise me um, at all. The main point of the job description... Age limit? Oh, shit. So, can wait, hold on. Can I Can I apply? I think I've got to put my resume in. Oh, shit. Okay. So, the key accountabilities. Appoint a captain for the team in each format. There you go. So, maybe I should just make a whole video on this, but um, I think if I was going to choose captaincy for each format... Test cricket, I would go with... Ah, oh, brother. Um, uh, who is the... I don't know. Who is the next captain? I would probably just give it back to Virat, um, which would be the easy decision. And then in ODIs, I would be looking at a guy like... <laughs> Virat Kohli again. <laughs> and then in T20s, I'd probably give it to Hardik Pandya. Um, yeah. I think that's the way. But... Man, I don't know if India have that many next captain, you know, choices. So, it's going to be interesting to see if they give it back to the man. The man VK. Surav sacked, Chetan and sacked. <laughs> There's the king in, yeah, wherever he's on holiday at the moment. Yeah. Hey, man. Let me know in the comments right now, how are you guys feeling about the sacking? Did you, did you guys think it was the right decision? Did you want to see him stay? You probably didn't, but just let me know. <laughs> um, after Roger Binney um, became BCCI president, he's the only World Cup winning president. Um, really? Um, historic decision. Equal money for men and women's cricketers. Yeah, it was cool. Um, he said injuries need to be minimalised at any cost. And then the BCCI sacked their entire national selectors. Yeah. Hey, a great decision in my opinion from the man, uh, Mr. Binney. Mr. Binney, you've done well, my friend. I like that. Ah, oh, damn. I mean, hey, those are the sort of cherries that you get when you've been out there for 173 deliveries and you've made 150. God damn. It looks like he almost put a hole in his fucking bat. Oh, man. And you see how many, like, edges there are here. There's only, like, 
a couple faint edges down here, and then you have a couple ones at the top. There's no thick edges around here, which just shows how well he was probably batting. Um, against Bangladesh. <laughs> a little bit of stat padding, but that's never going to hurt anyone. Um, since Virat's debut, most runs, most centuries, he's got the most 50s. The most, oh wait, no, we just did that. Uh, most 200s, Jesus Christ. Most fours, uh, most ODI runs, most ODI centuries, most ODI 50s. Oh man, most fours, most player of the match awards in ODI. And now we go to T20. Most T20 runs, Coley. Uh, 50s, Coley. Um, World Cup runs, Coley. Uh, 50s, Coley. And most ICC player of the tournament awards, you wouldn't believe it, but it's Virat Kohli. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be using that in my thumbnail. <laughs> I'm going to be using that in my thumbnail, I tell you that. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, just just on this though, like, I think we can all admit now that he is, yeah, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like, as much as I love Steve Smith and as much as I love Ricky Ponting, you know, those would, those would be my two first choices if I was going to go with an Australian as the GOAT, but neither of them have these statistics and this sort of, you know, consistency across all three formats. I mean, it's just ridiculous, to be honest. It, it, it really is. Um, is that Big Polly? A truth we all need to accept? Okay. Um, there are no parents who want to have an unemployed son. Oh, boy. Uh, no woman who wants to marry an unemployed man. I mean, sure. Um, no son who wants an unemployed father and no sister who wants an unemployed brother. Uh, men are success object because nobody cares about a man who doesn't earn. <laughs> now, I'm actually glad we just brought this up um, because this, this is talking about men's health. And actually, if you guys didn't know, November is Men's Mental Health Month, which... Um, you know, to me, it's something that I hold quite dearly is mental health, um, especially in men. Um, so, firstly, I just want to make, I want to I hope that everyone is doing well. I, 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 yeah, really am hoping that everyone's doing well. If you're not doing well, you can always shoot me a message. Um, and, and if you just want to talk about something, talk to me. Because I would much rather talk to someone than someone, you know, drop off the face of the earth. That, that would be the worst case scenario. Um, and, 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 and also on this... RIP to the man, um, Jason David Frank, who also did pass away this morning, um, of course, was, you know, the, the greatest Power Ranger of all time, was the Green Ranger, was the Red Ranger at one point, he was a White Ranger at one point, um, you know, rest in peace, because I did find out that this morning, um, that he did pass away, so, you know, gone way too soon, and he was, um, you know, taken away from, uh, I can't say the word on YouTube, but S-U-I-C, you guys know what I'm saying. Um, man, you think you think someone can have it all and then something, you know, so unexpected can happen, um, even to the people that you think are, 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 are so, you know, happy and set up in life. It, it, it's just so tragic. He was working on a big feature film um, and, yeah, just gone way too soon, man. So always make sure you guys are looking after your friends, look after your close family, um, you know, even if you you think it's weird if you just message your friend and say, how are you, or I love you, or anything like that, it can mean the world to a lot of people, so, um, hey, make sure we are looking after each other, guys, because, man, it, it, can, it can be a pretty cold world out there sometimes, so, yeah, um, inspirational speech, it's now over. All right, we got the man Washi Sundar, is that Lancashire? Um... I broke my ankle while playing football in 2018. I will never play football in my life. God damn, there are just better things to be doing. I mean, shit, it sounds like he doesn't like football anymore. Do you think he's going to watch the World Cup or is that going to be too much PTSD for the man Wachi? Jesus. Um, according to reports, cricket might be included in the 2028 Olympics with seven, uh, six, sorry, teams for both gender. What would the teams be? So it would be India, Australia, England, New Zealand. Um, I guess what format would it be? Would it be T20 cricket? Probably. So I'd probably say, yeah, India, England, Australia, New Zealand. Um, who am I forgetting? 
I'd probably say a team maybe like Afghanistan, just because they bring, you know, a bit of excitement, I guess. Um, a team like South Africa, I think. Hopefully the West Indies are any good by then. So, okay, okay, I like that. Hey, I'm all down to see it at the Olympics, man. That'd be so cool. We got the man Smudgy Boy. I don't have a plan, but I'm 33 now. I've been playing international cricket for 13 years. It's a long time. I'm still enjoying it, but I'm certainly closer to the end than the start. Yeah, I'm just going to pretend that does not exist because Steve Smith, he's going to keep playing for another 30 years. And if he doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, Stephen, but you need to keep playing for me, please. Um... Twitter has decided to temporarily close its offices. Yeah, look, I did see this, but it's going to be okay. It's uh, it's going to be fine. Twitter is going to be okay. I, th I think a lot of people, they just hear one person say something, and then they're like, oh, no, Twitter's fucked. <laughs> it's like, no, it's okay. It's just Elon is just setting new rules, and he's just getting rid of all of his employees because he wants people that actually want to be there, you know, which... I mean, it's pretty harsh, but I mean, that's how you run a good business nowadays, isn't it? After Don Bradman, Steve Smith is the best test batsman of all time. Hey, I'm not here to disagree with the man Lubber Scugney. Um, hey, this is a really cool photo here, by the way, too. What do you think these two would have averaged together back in their day? <laughs> I mean, we have seen footage of, uh, of, of Bradman playing... And I'm going to be honest, the bowling was not amazing, but hey, what can you do, man? Um, MS in the Punjab Kings owner. What the fuck is happening here? Yo, what, what is this photo shoot for? I mean, I mean, hey, each to their own. If, uh, uh, if, if, if she thinks that that's going to bring us an IPL title, I'm all for it. Um, David Warner's last century... Um, was 138 days ago. Yeah, so, I mean, look, as good as... David Warner's actually been really good, and the fact that he hasn't scored a century in a 1,000 days, and he won player of the tournament at the World Cup last year, just shows that, yes, that, that is a bad number to look at, but he's still playing pretty good, so, you know, it's not like we have anything to worry about. But, yes, he does have to end that drought, as soon as possible, please, Mr. David. Mr. David, oh, no more TikToks. I'm going to ban you from TikTok for a week, David. Don't make me do it. I don't want to do it. Don't make me talk to Candace. She will. She'll do it. Warner, six... <laughs> oh, that's inspirational right here. Look at Travis Head. I mean, he is just... Um... Yeah, he's doing it for all the, all the lads out there. Shastri lashes out at Dravid. Really? I don't know. I do not believe in breaks because I want to understand my team. I want. Also, I'm just going to read it by myself because um, it does go for. <laughs> um, you get your th two to three months of IPL. That's enough for you to rest as a coach. But other times, I think a coach should be hands on. Whoever he is, I agree with the man Ravi here. Like, yeah, it's it, it's true. Now we know the man VVS Laxman is currently coaching the team in New Zealand, but. Yeah, it, I mean, you. <laughs> I agree. I mean, you get breaks during the IPL year. Dravid isn't coaching an IPL team. Like, if it was me, I'd want to be with my team as much as possible, whether it was my main team or my second team, you know? Like, I agree. I agree. Um, main responsibility for new selectors. Um, okay, select best possible team. That would be a smart decision. Prepare strong bench strength. Okay. Travel to watch domestic and international games. I would do all that if you need me to. Address the media on team selection. If you need me to do that, I'll do it. Um, appoint captain for each format. I'll do that as well. <laughs> I know a guy by the name of uh, Virat Kohli in Test Cricket. I know a guy by the name of Virat Kohli in ODI Cricket. And then I know a guy by the name of Hardik Pandya. In, in T20 cricket. That's what I'd be doing. Um, I don't think there's a need to have one captain in each format, but psh, shit, man. I mean, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> um, Pat Cummins said he and Cricket Australia won't stop Mr. Cameron Green in participating at the IPL. Yeah, as they shouldn't. 
As a captain, I want to him to give his 100 for Australia, but can't stop him for grabbing such a big opportunity. Yes. I mean, considering Pat Cummins, um, you know, played IPL a lot of his career, I would only understand that he would understand that Cameron Green is going to be getting a big paycheck this summer. So, um, yeah, let the man go get his paycheck. <laughs> he needs to uh, provide for the family, man. This means Hazelwood is going to be black. Yeah, um, yeah, I I didn't get this either, to be honest. I didn't really understand that Marsh, you know, Marsh and Carey have cap. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. But Hazelwood, yeah, was our fill-in captain for the ODI team, which I think he made good decisions. I didn't see him really much except when he bowled. So, shit, I mean, we, we won. <laughs> we won, so shit. He's got a 100% win record. He's the best. He's the best captain in it, man. He's got a hundred percent win record. I uh, think you're the new BCCI selector. Um, what changes will you bring into the squad? Okay, my first pick. I've got a guy by the name of Moses on Reeks. He actually does have Indian citizenship now. I will make sure of it. He's into the team. He's going to be the new captain. Um, and I'm going to get the man Arshdeep Singh into Red Bull Cricket. That would be my main objectives. Moses on Reeks, Indian citizenship, Arshdeep Singh, Red Bull Cricket time. That's what I'd be doing. That's what I'd be doing, man. Nah, I actually might do a, like a full video um, about this sort of thing because it's actually a big talking point, isn't it? Hotspot, Hotspot isn't available for Oz v England series. Why was it available for the T20 World Cup? You tell me. <laughs> you tell me, Akash. I don't know, man. It, it, it is so ridiculous that uh, it got taken away. For what? For what? <laughs> like, do you need to pay someone minimum wage to go sit there? I'll do it for minimum wage. I'll do it for $10. Fuck. I mean, god damn. I don't understand sometimes, guys. I don't understand why DRS is, like, taken out for series and then it's put in for a World Cup and then we take it back out. It's like, it's there to be used. Just fucking leave it, you know? Um, England in cricket in four years. England in football since 1996, yeah. Hey, <laughs> let's hope that England get knocked out in the, in the opening round um, at the World Cup this year. Because we do not want to see England, you know, start with that it's coming home bullshit. We don't need that. Because it's not going home. I think Brazil, you know, will probably win. But hey, the Socceroos, man. <laughs> we're here. Don't forget. <laughs> oh, we're not going to win a game, are we? Um, Akash raises questions. We are inhabiting a very unique cricket world at the moment where captains of both teams take a break. Um, and it's not just like that series. I mean, can you imagine that? Uh, I mean, look, to be fair, it was just after a World Cup. Um, I, don't, I mean, I, I, look, Akash, you're going to get me angry. <laughs> you're going to get me started here, Akash. Don't start me. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I can agree in a way. Like, if you're a captain of your team and you can play in a game and you're fully healthy, go fucking play. Like, why would you rather bring out the drinks instead of playing? Bit weird, especially when you're the captain. But we have seen this happen before. Like, yes, if it was India versus Pakistan, the players would be playing every game. But if it was India versus, like, South Africa, they wouldn't give a shit about resting, you know, Kohli or Virat. Uh, about resting Kohli or Virat. They wouldn't care about resting Kohli or uh, Rowett or Pant or fucking anyone, right? So, no, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't... I mean, look, the World Cup just finished... Joe's Butler, I mean, he's had an incredible year. He just wants to sit down and rest up for a, for a couple days, so I can't blame him. Steve Smith, in his last four ODI innings, 61, 105, 80 not out, and a 94. This should have been another century, but hey, woohoo! Steve Smudgy Boy, he's here. He's back, and he's ready to fuck the world. That's right, baby. He's ready to prove to everyone that he's still... He's still the man. Like, you know, we've we've had a lot of talk about Virat throughout the World Cup. That game against Pakistan, that's been the big talking point of the cricket world in the last couple months. But you just start to feel Steve Smith is just bringing the cricket world back in his direction. I'm happy for Steve, man. I really am. He deserves it. Um, 
Stark's first over supremacy. Most wickets in the first over of the day. Damn, Malinga, 24. Um, Stark, 22. And Jimmy Anderson, 14 times. Mitchell Stark is going to is going to beat Malinga, and it's going to be like in half the amount of innings as well. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Prithvi's prayers have been um, have been <laughs> listened to. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Hey, the man Prithvi is he is he going to get picked now? Is he going to get picked into these teams? Probably not. Probably not. Unfortunately. Um, Shikha Darwan got emotional when he met his son after a very long time. Hey, I love that. Hey, shout out to the man Shikha Darwan. That's our Punjab King captain right there, baby. Um, news update. Fan yeah, I did see this, man. Fans will no longer be allowed to buy the beverages inside or around the perimeters of the World Cup stadiums. Man, look, why would you go? Why would you bother going to such a World Cup where you can't even hold hands with your partner. You're not allowed to, like, if, if, you, if you have a male friend that you're going there with, you're not even allowed to hug your male friend after a goal. It's like, hey, what did I just see there? I don't like that. that like, the security will probably kick you out if they see you high-fiving another male. Like, man, I just wouldn't have bothered going. Uh, I also did... Look, now, okay... You have to respect, you know, their laws, their, you know, their stuff. I'm not arguing against that, but the fact that they said it was going to be allowed just two days from the World Cup, and then just a day later, they say, no, we don't want this anymore. You'd be pretty pissed off because, hey, one of the best things is, is enjoying sport and just, you know, having a couple beers, having a couple beers and chilling out. It's, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about the World Cup, man? It's, uh... Uh, it should have been in Australia, so we know what happened there with the, the under the table, so we're not going to go into it. Uh, Rowett might himself step down from test captaincy. Um, who should be the next captain? I have no effing idea, man. I mean, like, Boomer maybe? I mean, like, Boomer doesn't even play every test, so probably not, like, Jadeja? Like, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think, who is the next captain in this team? I have no no idea. Maybe Rishab? Like, do you do you look at the youngster of Rishab and say, do you want a captain? Um, I have no flipping idea. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Let me know who you think will be the next captain in all three formats. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea for Test Cricket especially. Um, highest batting average at number three. In ODI. Okay. Okay. Steve, 56. Viv Richards, yeah, 57. God damn. Virat, 60. Baba, 65. Jesus. Okay. Longevity matters. Woo! Hey! Okay. Oh. Well, I didn't I didn't see that coming. <laughs> um, yeah, well, shit. I mean, it's hard to argue with statistics, is it? Just how fast the night changes, yeah. Split captaincy doesn't work. Now, a year later, wait a minute. I think we want split captaincy. <laughs> like, go get, like, honestly, if, if if I was, man, the BCCI, man, I would be so angry with, you know, Chetan Sharma, like, man. Even Ganguly, to that matter, like, I don't know why they had to do all that. Sunny Gavaskar versus Virat in tests. Hmm. God damn. Okay. Seeing the man Sonny won most of those statistics there too. Revenue generated by cricket boards in... So this was last year, but yeah, the BCCI, it's fair to say they earn a bit more than everyone else. But hey, you see who's just behind them? Cricket Australia! And that is all... Because of Moses Henrique, so that's pretty inspirational there. The ECB, eh, I'd cut their money in half, to be honest. I don't, I don't like that for them. Um, the PCB, the BCB, the CCA, uh, the New Zealand, West Indies, Zim is this Zimbabwe? Damn, Sri Lanka. Ah, oh, man, someone's got to help them out. Um, Salman Butt doesn't want Hardik as captain. Why? Why? Tell me why. 
I don't know who is seeing him as captain and who is watching such streams. He has talent and tested success in the IPL, but even Rohit Sharma has been successful five to six times in the IPL. Oh man, oh man. I mean, what would you like, Salman Butt? What would you prefer? Would you like to see Rohit Sharma continue as captain for the next 32 years? Or, like, I, I, I don't understand why. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't, like, what, what? What does Rohit Sharma winning the IPL six times have anything to do with it? Like, I understand, you know, the comparison of, oh, just because they're good in IPL doesn't mean they can win tournaments as, you know, international. But at the end of the day, what else are they meant to do? Do you <laughs> they don't, like? Do you not want them to win the IPL so they don't be selected as captain? Like I, I'm confused. You know, wouldn't you rather someone win the IPL to prove themselves as a good captain? I don't know, man. Salman, but I mean, sometimes I just feel like Pakistan cricketers, you know, former cricketers, they always want to, you know, like bring Indian cricketers down, man. It's crazy every time. Like I read, it's like, it's like the man Sholi Bakhtar currently saying that Virat should retire. <laughs> like, you're a hater, man. You're a hater. Like, chill. For almost 10 years, MS was India's three format captain. Yeah. Yeah. And it is crazy to see how, how times change. Like, you had Dhoni as that three format captain. You then had Virat as that guy. And now they have no flipping idea what to do with the team. So... It's it, interesting, man. It, it, it just shows you what a man and what a captain he was. Um, MS Dhoni and Coley, for that matter. So many changes in less than a year. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, Coley is at the top of it all because of what a great World Cup he had. So, um, you do love to see it. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, ew, what the fuck? Ew. Ew, 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 what the, oh, no, brother, no, 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 ew, ew, I'm gonna be fucking ill. Oh, no, 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 my brother, no, 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 your body is not meant to do that, oh, no, Jesus Christ, <laughs> no one attempt that, please, holy moly, um, Yo, they wanted to sack Dhoni from captaincy. They tried their best but couldn't do so because MSD had the backing of then BCCI president. I mean, man, like, imagine if they did sack Dhoni from captaincy. Um, imagine how different it would be. And, like, it just shows how important it is as well to have, a, a, you know, a president that backs in the captain. Um, so that's, that's always good to see. So we love that. Um, do you know FIFA World Cup winner prize is uh, 42 million? Yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> While England got 1.6 million for winning the T20 World Cup. Now, I mean, look, as much as I love cricket, let's be honest, football is this, and then cricket is this. Like, cricket is, you know, maybe the second biggest sport, but football is, is global. Like, every single person in the world knows what that is. Uh, before the World Cup, Goat Raza and Craig Irvine made a deal to buy them other a watch um, if they win Man of the Match. Sikanda Raza won three Man of the Match awards. No! Craig kept his promise and gifted him three watches. Nah, that is OP right there. Yo! Look at his face. Hey, that's the man Raza, man. He is a beast. Facts, got what he deserved. What a beast. Um, Rainer will be the fielding coach at CSK. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good to see him, um, you know, sticking with CSK on that sort of thing. Breaking news. Um, a web series documentary based on the 2007 T20 World Cup is set to be released in 2023, including 15 Indian players. Is this going to be on Amazon, do you think? Or... Or what? Maybe like, would they put it on Netflix? Maybe? Probably not. Amazon? Where can I watch? <laughs> I need to know where I can watch it so I can get ready. Um, hey, that should be effing awesome though. I'm excited for that. Uh, back to training, Captain Rowe. Yeah. Hey, Rowett Sharma, he has got a big, big, 
big off season ahead of him. He needs to absolutely rip up the park. He needs to come back in the fittest condition of his career. And if he wants to, you know, keep doing this as captain, he needs to come back and prove to everyone that he's still got that fire inside of him. Because, you know, we've seen when Coley was removed as captain, he said, you know what, I'm, I'm pretty angry, but I'm just going to go back and prove to everyone that I'm still him. Can Rohit Sharma do the same? That's what we're waiting for. Uh, Vera and Anushka enjoying their holiday? Hey, where are they? Oh, wait, that's right. They're in uh, Uttar Khand. Is that what it is, I believe, right? No, it didn't say. Um, yeah, where are they? Uh, for research purposes, I'm going to need their location. Um, hey, no, that's wholesome. Wholesome right there. Uh, Dravid the Sigma male. The wall. Oh, copyright, baby. God damn, we're going to play that on the small screen. Um, yeah, look, man, as much as I would love to play this clip right now, I am not going down for any copyright. Um, the Last Man, Mumbai Indians. Jesus Christ, the amount, if you guys can hear that wind, I'm about to get blown away, so just bear with me. <laughs> damn, they've all left Rowett. Sachin, Raidu, Harbhajan. Hey, at least Arjun Tendulkar is still there, man. Do not forget the second best Mumbai Indians player ever. Arjun Tendulkar, man. Don't forget he's there. He's still there. Um, Virat is the best captain I have played under. Yeah, I could only imagine. <laughs> I mean, is it? Yeah. Literally the whole world. Yeah, hey, this shit was crazy. Hey, this is one of the coolest photos in like sports history right there, man. I thought it was Photoshop when I first seen it, but it's actually real. They actually set that up and did it. Um, Anchor. She, uh, people are teasing Rishab with the name of an actress. Uh, do you tease him in the dressing room? She herself wants people to tease her. There's nothing from Rishab. He's not even <laughs> bothered. <laughs> Yo, Avashi Ratatouille. Going out sad. Oh, selectors, they're going to walk right past it. <laughs> Yo. Oh, and turned around. Out goes the selectors. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and the players, yeah, we're out of here. Selectors. Oh, no. I've been set up. Oh, no. Turn around. Turn around! <laughs> yep, that's all she wrote, my friend. Yeah. The right decision has been made, though, I'm afraid, um, for Chetan, but... Man, you just got to be better than that. Um, Virat, after knowing BCCI, is considering split captaincy. Yeah. Virat would feel pretty upset done by the uh, BCCI this last two years, man. They have done Virat really bad, to be honest, like... Ew. Well, yo, I mean, not ill, but like, what the hell? Yo, okay. Off that. Off that. That's fake. <laughs> I didn't, like, it just caught me off guard. I didn't mean that word in a bad way. I just, it caught me off guard, right? I'll edit that out. That was a bad, that was a bad mistake. I'll edit that out. Uh, Pakistan team in the 1990. Akram, Yunus, Inzamamu, Huck, and Akhtar. Pakistan team in 2010. Muhammad Asif, Salman Bhatt, Muhammad Amir. <laughs> I mean, a little bit of a different team, but, I mean, they did still have the man of Freedy. Um, hey, the man Surya, what a knock it was. I actually am, after this memes video, I am going to be reviewing um, that game. So, hey, that'll be up before this. So make sure you check that out if you haven't. Make sure you check that out if you haven't. Different balls? Welcome to San Andreas. Hey, Steven! Woohoo! I mean, uh, I, I feel like like all the comparisons, like, I mean, they're better than Kane and they're better than, you know, Joe Root. But, yeah, Steve Smith and Virat, it's hard to compare them, man, because of how similar they are in players and statistics, for that matter. 
um almost as big as the united states and more than two times bigger than india and well, yeah we're pretty big 1.3 billion people in the u.s is a population of 330 million the population in australia however is just about 26 million this map shows the population density around australia yeah. that's hey that's me people. that's me right here because the rest is just vast, unlivable desert. Of course, yes. like the problems with water, farming, and the temperature yes. in the outbacks can even get up to 50 degrees Celsius. Yes. And another reason is the freaking wildlife. You just know it. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what was all the pictures of like tigers and stuff, bro? We don't have a tiger here. Uh, but yes, that is why we live on the outskirts and near the ocean. Because if you go into the middle of Australia, you are going to be turned into a burnt little chip. Like, you're not going to come out of it like looking too good so um yeah if you ever plan to visit just stay in the town stay <laughs> don't just drive off into the middle of the desert because you will not come back <laughs> you will not <laughs> god damn uh, a beaver smith in test turn that down baby runs a b average smudge highest a b yep not out smith oh both okay hundreds Smudge, woo, fitties. 200s, probably AB. No smudge, okay, shit. Yeah, sixes will be AB, obviously. Yep, fours, I'm gonna say AB again. Yep, man of the match, I'm gonna say Steven Smudge. Woohoo! Winner, gotta say Steve. What? The winner was AB? How? How? I swear more of the statistics went to Steve. Man, I don't know about that. We love both, but let's not lay, let's not get it twisted. Other bats. They're just trying to copy him. Oh man. Yo, how is he doing that so quick, but yeah, that is true though. If you're gonna learn from anyone right now, I'd be learning from him. But then again, how the heck are you meant to learn to play some of the shots that he plays? Like, watching the game last night, he, I don't understand what his mind thinking process is sometimes because he will just like step out of the crease, like off the pitch, and then he still somehow whips it for six. And I'm thinking, how did you know the ball was going to be there? <laughs> like, man, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. Kiwis versus India in bilaterals. Kiwis versus India in the World Cup. Yeah. Yeah, bilaterals, man. Hey, the bilateral better than the World Cup, babe. <laughs> um, between the start of 2008 and end of 2014. Second was Rainer? Wow. He captained and kept wickets in pretty much every game he played. Yeah. That is the peak consistency right there of the Mandoni. Um, India against New Zealand in bilateral series with their B, C, D, E, F team. <laughs> and then in the main team, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it, look, all you can do is just pretend to joke about it and pretend it doesn't upset you. Um, King praises on Sky, yeah. Hey, now, hey, you know what's funny from this, what Virat said? He goes, numero uno, showing why he's the best in the world, which, you know, you could have left it there. He could have left it there, but he then followed on to say, didn't watch it live, but I'm sure this was another video game's innings. It's like, <laughs> I'm a bit of an alpha here. Like, <laughs> don't forget, I'm still above you <laughs> in a jokingly way. But like, imagine like saying like, damn, well battered. I didn't watch it, but well back. <laughs> oh, Virat, you are funny. You are funny. Um, most T20 runs this year. Surya. God damn, 188 strike rate. What the fuck? That is different, I'm not going to lie. Like, even batting at number three or four, like, that is... Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, Rizwan. Okay. Uh, Kohli. Sikanda, Goat, Raza, and Zimbabwe. Nice. Okay. Kane Williamson has already started preparations of the 2023 ODR World Cup. Yeah. I mean, 61 or 52, would actually looks okay, but he just kept chewing up so many deliveries in the middle of the order. And by the time he got out, it was 68 or 13 needed. So the game was done. Yeah. I think he's uh, preparing for uh, test cricket season. This... A big boy pit bull? Got a pity? God damn. What the hell? 
Bro, I'm not gonna lie, that dog is kind of scaring me. Like, hey, I'm a big dog lover, but... I'm not gonna lie, some, some, uh, some pit bulls do scare me. Hey. Hey, I love, I love dogs though, man. And he goes up in the hills. Damn! I mean, shit, that's what a pit bull can do, though. <laughs> Multiverse of madness. Williamson and Rahul. Hey, uh, who's, who's, whose position would you rather be in? I'd probably pick Rahul just because he's going to get that big IPL contract. But, yeah. The fan following of Sanju. Oh, he should have played yesterday, man. I was not happy that the man Sanju did not get to play yesterday. He was robbed. He should have played. Um, we got, we got uh, Baba. A 93 strike rate in the World Cup. It's not great. King Coley averaged 98 in the World Cup. Yeah. It's, uh, it's light work. Light work. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, averaging 98 in any format is just disgusting. Uh, this collab, yo, what the fuck? Johnny Sims expresses his desire to make an adult film in space. He said that Elon would support him in this and it also prom Yo, that would low-key break the internet. Imagine, like, you go on to the hub, right, and you see Johnny Sims and, I don't know, name a female, right? Um, and, you know, <laughs> they <laughs> in space. Like, how the hell is that possible? Like... Are they, like, in a spaceship, or, like, are you just going to be floating into the air and having... I don't know, man. I don't know how that would work. Um, I don't know how that would work, man. Um, hi, Rishab. Hi, Sanju. Close your eyes. Nothing. That's the use of you in... Yo! That is crazy. <laughs> um, since the Ovashi rishab controversy, Rishab has failed to score. Because before the thing... 72, damn, 72 off 22. Um, and then, yeah, he's, um, I don't think that has anything to do with it, but he has been, uh, yeah. He's been bad in T20 cricket, man. Smilesome has lost his smile. Ah, uh, Kane, what can you do, man? All you have to do is just watch the ball float over your head. That's all you had to do, man. There's, no, there's not much you can do about it. The blunder. Who is that? Is this his wife? What's it say? Shireus. Oh, wait. Is this Shireus? I'm so confused, man. Is Wait. Oh, that's why Shireus went out, right? <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. Yeah, that is why he went out. He was distracted. Uh, no salary system for Ranji players? Good. I'm glad. Salary for one day? I don't know how much that is. Um, salary for one match? Salary for one season? How much is that? I'm unsure, but... Hey, as long as Ranji and domestic players are starting to get a little bit more money in, super important. Super, super important. Especially for a billion dollar cricket industry. So, yeah, we love that. Um, damn, Shaheen got a colonoscopy today. Had an appendicectomy. I don't know what that is, sorry. Um, but I'll... Uh, I'll feeling better. Remember me in your prayers. Hey, I hope you're feeling better, Mr. Shaheen Afridi. Um, I will pray for you, my good man. Uh, the Last Dance 11. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ronaldo, Suarez, Messi, Modric, Busquets, Mula, Jordi Alba. Yeah, Silva, Pepe, Alve. I mean, man. <sighs> it's going to... Uh, yeah, I think all of them are probably not going to last to another World Cup. But who knows with someone like Messi, man. Like, he just he will just keep playing till he's 52. Six years apart. Sir, yeah, in the big shoes where this is pressure, doctor is him. I have seen God walking at number three for India. And then, yeah, the other way around. Numero uno. I didn't watch. <laughs> I can't believe Virat said that. Um, ooh, this is a crispy edit right here. Shout out to Punjab Kings with the crispy edit. Okay, okay. The three goats right there. I like that. Um, other batsmen. Need the sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, on that with Indian fans having to buy Sony and Star Prime Voot 
Man, I feel for all you Indian, like, die-hard cricket supporters, man, because you guys literally, like, have to have every single, like, premium subscription because they love to hand out cricket matches to different services. Like, it'll be, like, it'll be Amazon yesterday, and then it'll be, you know, on Star Sports, and then it'll be on Voot. Like, what is Voot? I don't know, but, man, it is annoying. Very, very annoying to uh, to have to bounce around to different things. So, yeah, I do feel with you all for that one. Um, imagine. I actually seen this on Instagram last night, bro. And I, I went through the comments and I just seen everyone laughing at this one because Coley in a... I think this is the uh, Lahore uh, Quilanders, uh kit here. I think that's who Barbar plays for. Um, but... It actually looks pretty cool on him, I can't lie. This is my favourite, though. Woohoo! Hardy Pandia as a Sydney Sixer. That would make my life so complete, man. Hardy Pandia as a Sydney Sixer. Man, that would make my year, like, so complete. Boomra. Um, I think this is the 100 league in England. It's irrelevant. Um, but I think this is the CPL. Um, yeah, for the Trinidad... Tobago, Knight Riders, the Sky. Hey, I'd love to see like a whole BBL version of Indian players. That'd be cool as. Um, why Samson couldn't play Hardik Sky and Pant are sure starters? Now, I'm unsure if Pant is a sure starter, but okay. Um, Huda and Ayer have to be preferred because they were in World Cup setup. Toss up would have been Ishan and Samson. Ishan preferred as he is already open for India and performed well. So, I mean, I can see it. I can, I, I can understand the, the reasonings, but, man, like, Samson has got to play at some point, man. Like, yeah, I don't know. It, hey, all I'm going to say is if Sanju Samson was Australian, he's not missing an international game. That's all I'm going to say. Like, he is getting picked over guys like Tim David in... Um, at least ODI cricket for that matter, but like guys like even, no, not Stoinis, but maybe he doesn't. I mean, yeah, maybe Stoinis, maybe Marsh, because Marsh is not that great of an ODI player either. So, yeah, I feel for Samson, man. He's just got to keep on keeping on. Give me five Surya Kumar Yadas and one Virat Kohli and I can win you the World Cup. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> you probably could. And if you, f wait, who's going to bowl though? Is Virat going to roll the arm over with a couple of fucking, you know, a couple of medium pace offies? Or, or what's the go? Can Sir you bowl? I've never seen him bowl, but he probably could. I mean, shit, if you give him like four Arshdeep Sings, then you're, you're definitely going to win. The last one. Hey. Hey. Hey! Look at Mr. Sins! Jesus. Um... FIFA president slams Western Apocrypha. All right, I'm not going to read this out loud, but I will just read it. Um, getting the hosting rights of the World Cup. Yeah, we know what happened. Um, for what? Yeah, okay. Um, and people can survive without alcohol for three hours. Like, obviously, people can survive without alcohol for three fucking hours, Mr. President, but people want to enjoy themselves. Like, it's, it's legal. Like, alcohol is legal. <laughs> like, I understand it's a different country, but god damn. Like, this is a World Cup. Man, I don't know. I, yeah, I just wouldn't go, if I'm going to be honest. Ecuador start the FIFA World Cup with a win. 2-0. Hell yeah. Go the Ecuadorians. Um, I'm not going to lie. I thought this game was going to be rigged, and I thought Qatar were going to win. But there you go. Didn't. Not the start the hosts wanted. When you spend $220 billion in preparation of World Cup and your team scored no goal, no shot at target. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. The World Cup should have been given to Australia. Um, the English gang in Abu Dhabi? Uh. <laughs> you got the lads. You got the lads. Is that Livingston? Is that, uh, what's his name? This isn't, what, fuck, what's his name? Uh, Duckett. I think that's Ben Duckett. Okay, it's good to see. Hashtag F Ben Stokes. <laughs> oh, and hey, that will cap it off officially. I think this is memes episode 95. 
Again, I could be wrong, but you just, I, I'll figure it out when I edit the video. As the wind and the rain is just starting to just get even worse, so it's probably a good time. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. The rain is coming down. Leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. Help the boy out. Comment down below. Just, you know, chuck anything you want down there. And I'll see everyone in the next one.